to Trinidad and Tobago. And we went over to Tobago to preach. And I saw a lady signing, like the lady that was doing this tonight. You see her over there, Dactology, signing to the people. And I said to the minister, I said, do they have deaf people here? Oh yeah. He said, the whole deaf school for the nation is here. And God gave me an idea. I said, bring them all up to the platform. And by faith, I began to pray. First was a little boy. Jesus in his wonderful power healed the little child. Amen. Hallelujah. And the girl that I was going to pray for next, she's probably what, 14, teenager. She's signing him. Oh, forget about the ring. And uh, I said to the lady, what's she saying? She said, she's saying, can you really hear? And the boy, but I liked his last sign. He went, well, something like this. Then he went, <laughs> I understood that one. <laughs> and right down the line, Jesus healed every student in the deaf school. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And then I sang a song, and we were in that soccer stadium in Scarborough. People began to sing it. And during the day, after the night service, we go out. To go get something, we come to a stoplight, and people at the bus station lean over and they start singing, Oh, it is Jesus. Amen. Wonderful Jesus. We went into a restaurant to get a hamburger, and the lady had an old cassette tape of, uh, I forget her name, used to travel with Andre Crouch, singing, Oh, it is Jesus. No, not Danabelle, the other lady. Something, Tata Vega. Is that right? Tata Vega? Oh, thank you, Lord. I still remember things. Amen. <laughs> and then when it come to an end, she'd replay the cassette and play it again. The whole time we were there, she just kept playing that song. And I've seen God touch an entire island Amen. by his power. Oh, Amen. Hallelujah. God's going to touch every one of us tonight. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lift your hand. Make a prayer. Let's sing it together.